Hello and welcome to Project 4 LCD Micro Switch Counter using Easy Circuit Designer and Easy Core Chart. Start off by opening up Easy Circuit Designer and create a new project by going to File and then New and call the project LCD Counter and then click OK. Now scroll through the circuit groups menu and select the push button icon then in the circuits menu select pull up active low and then click on the B0 pin to place it. Now we want to rename this button by right clicking on the label selecting rename and typing micro switch and then hitting the enter key. Now we want to add an LCD by scrolling up through the circuit groups menu and clicking on the LCD icon. Easy Circuit Designer will automatically place the LCD, but we now want to rename it by right clicking on the label, selecting Rename, and calling it LCD. We can now send our program to Core Chart by clicking on the Send to Core Chart icon. Core Chart will generate a test subroutine that will test the LCD. To run this program, make sure that first that the USBP program is connected to the computer and the eLab 16M controller board, and the battery pack is also connected and switched on. And then simply click the Send Program to Chip button, then click OK when prompted to save, and save the program as LCD Counter, and click the Save button. When the program has been successfully downloaded to the chip, run it by simply pushing the push button switch and the word hello will be displayed on the LCD. Now that we've completed testing the LCD, we can delete the test subroutine by clicking on the test subroutine and then clicking the delete icon in the icons bar and then clicking OK to confirm the delete. Now click on the numbers icon in the icons menu and then click on Add, then place it by clicking the black arrow below Start Main. Double click on the Add icon to bring up its options and leave the first two source fields as they are and then type Count in the destination field and then click OK. Now select Address in the Icons menu and under Label Name type again and then place this icon below icon 2 by clicking the black arrow. Now select LCD in the icons menu and click on LCD format and then place it by clicking the black arrow. Double click on it to bring up its options and under mode select return cursor home and leave the speed as one third of a second and then click OK. Now select numbers again and then click on Add and place the icon below icon 4 by clicking on the black arrow. Double click on the icon to bring up its options and select Source as Count. In the second source field type the number 1 and in the destination field select Count and then click OK. Now we want to add a decision by selecting Decision from the Icons menu and then select Micro Switch and On and then place it below icon 4 by clicking the black arrow. Now select LCD in the icons menu and then disk number LCD and place it by clicking the black arrow. Double click to bring up its options and select count as the source and then click OK. Finally we want to add a go to by selecting go to in the icons menu and again should be already selected as the go to property and then place it by clicking the black arrow at the top of column 2. This completes the first part of the program. We can now send it to the chip by clicking the Send Program to Chip button and then OK when asked to save.
push the push button switch on the control board to start the program and then a counter will be displayed on the LCD and while the push button micro switch is held the counter will increment and when it is not being held the counter will not increment we can now modify a program so that the counter will be only incremented for a single push of the micro switch so that the micro switch has to be pushed and then released in order for the LCD counter to be incremented to do this we'll click on decision in the icons menu and select micro switch and then on and place this below icon 5 when prompted about the invalid combination of icons click OK and although adding another decision below a decision will create an error in this case we will rectify the issue by creating a group by clicking on icon 6 holding the shift key on the keyboard and then clicking icon 7 and then clicking group in the icons menu and under group name typing check switch and then clicking on create new group we'll now select go to which should have a go to property of check switch and place it below the yes branch of icon 2 We'll now return to the main program by double clicking on the first icon. And this completes our program. We'll now set it to the chip by first making sure the hardware is connected properly. And then clicking the send program to chip button. Clicking OK when prompted to save. Now after pushing the push button switch on the controller board, the counter will be displayed on the LCD and only incremented when the micro switch is pushed down and then released. This completes project 4.